IPL works by targeting the blood, water and pigment in the skin. With rosacea, you have lots of excessive little blood vessels or broken capillaries on the skin. And when your body flushes, these leak. And that's what gives you that constant red flush look. Or when you're stressed with it and you get that flushing, or if you're eating something that causes you to flush, this is what shows up. By targeting those excessive blood vessels, when you do flush, they don't leak as much. So you have a lot less redness. Over time, having IPL, you start cauterizing off a lot more blood vessels, resulting in a lot less redness. Also, by targeting the water in the skin, the skin then hits the fibroblast reaction and the skin starts repairing itself. When treating rosacea, you start off with a course of six. This is a starting point. Everyone's skin is very different. Some people need more, some people need less treatments. But you have IPL to a point that you're happy with. When you're seeing results and your skin's not flushing so much and the redness has subsided, you then maintain the results. So some people come back about every sort of six to eight weeks. Some people only come back every sort of four, four times a year. So everyone's very individual, but it's important that you do maintain those results. Each treatment is done at three week intervals to start off with. So in the beginning, you have one session every three weeks to a point that you're happy with. So after having IPL done, it's very important that you take care of your skin. So the first thing is to keep your skin nice and cool. So no going to the gym after, no going for runs, sauna, gym, or any sort of swimming, anything that's gonna make your body hot. Also do avoid swimming for about 24 hours after because the chlorine can aggravate the skin afterwards. Um, also, try and avoid sunlight. Things like when you're walking around in the sun, your skin, the melanin in the skin is going to be activated. So obviously when having treatment, the IPL does go through that pigment layer and we don't want to be targeting that. So Heliocare 360 has an SPF of 50, also it's a broad spectrum. So it's going to target both the UVA and UVB rays to protect your skin. Also, with sun exposure and sun tanning and sort of just daily sun, your skin's going to heat up. And when your skin heats up, blood comes to the surface to help cool it down. And if you're already experiencing flushing, this is going to exasperate that a lot more. Also, for about three days afterwards, avoid strong chemicals on the skin. So avoid things like retinols and avoid chemicals like... Um, acids on the skin but make sure you do use lots of b5 serum do use your spf do use your anti-redness creams as well and it keeps the skin calm